This is a labor of love. Packing the ice, making the blocks, and lugging them into place. Mike Gephardt and Bubba Hopkins are building this igloo the old-fashioned way, all by hand. This is our igloo. We build one every year, but they just seem to get bigger and bigger every year that we go. We really didn't have a plan when we started on size or nothing, but we just decided to start building it. and. Turned out it was 31 feet across, so we figured we'd go 19 feet high. They say I have about 600 blocks so far and maybe another 300 to go until you wouldn't be able to see me because this is going to be one giant dome and one of the biggest igloos you will ever see. We found out that basically we're probably the biggest in the country. I think we're about the second biggest in the world. There is one that measured bigger. It was 40 feet or 39 feet across. Each day the igloo walls grow higher and higher. And both men say they're anxious to get those final blocks in place. Every inch and every step uh, we're looking forward to. Every block that we make is that one more block getting closer to being done. Yeah, once you start getting up towards the top, it gets a little, uh, little bit harder to make the bricks stay in place. As long as you can pack them in and it's good and cold, it'll, it'll stay in place for the most part. Once it freezes overnight, there ain't much you can do to move them. The community of Fort Jones has been following along, and some have even pitched in in different ways. We got people honking, we got people stopping to check it out, they want to go in it. We have people leaving donations for us. One nice lady bought us lunch. I'm like canceling all trips away so that I can see the completion. They're on day 25 and counting. Hard at work, but at something that brings a childlike sense of joy. In Fort Jones, Joe Camerlinghi, NBC5 News.